right, this is going to be a relatively quick video um, regarding the long bone dissection. So here I have a section of cow femur, um, the epiphysis at either end has been removed. However, the diaphysis, which is the shaft of the bone, um, remains. And we do have a little bit of the epiphysis at either end. So along here, looking closer at the diaphysis, we have, if I take my probe and I push here, this is very, very hard. This is the compact bone. Now, if I go inside the diaphysis, you can tell, especially here, it's squishy. And here, where it's cooler, it's almost butter-like in texture. And you can see I'm making marks in it very easily. And it is a butter-like texture. Down here where it has thawed, um, it's almost like jello. This is the yellow bone marrow, and you can see where it has thawed. You can tell it has a distinctly yellow color, whereas over here, from being in the fridge, um, this uh, is very butter-like in texture. Now, moving on up, you can see a line along here that is very, very red. This is where blood has leached into the yellow marrow from up here, we have red marrow. And now where the red marrow is, I can still stick my probe in somewhat. Um, it's got almost a kind of crunchy texture. This is the spongy bone. So the red marrow is located inside the spongy bone. And then the yellow marrow is inside of the diaphysis. It is in the, um, in the middle of the bone. Now I'm going to actually take a moment and I am going to remove very carefully the yellow marrow which if you are careful will come out in one piece but what I really want to show you is actually somewhat inside the yellow marrow so I'm going to you'll see I'm stripping something out of it I feel like I've hit a branch in it. So this string type structure is the artery. So the artery runs through your bone, not only to supply blood to the bone, but also to acquire new red blood cells. The red blood cells are produced by, guess what, your red bone marrow. It's red with blood, whereas your yellow marrow is, well, guess what? It has a buttery texture, so guess what it mostly is? It's fat. Uh, that's not coming out in one piece, but you can still see in there I've got the artery running the length of the bone. So you'll notice as I've opened this up, as I've removed this, we have a completely hollow area in the center. It's got some ridges in it. This is the medullar cavity. So the medullar cavity in the center of the bone is what contains our yellow bone marrow. There. 
and we have running the entire length of this yellow marrow our artery. On the outside here, let's see if I can get the probe to get to gain purchase on it. First of all, th this is muscle. So this is muscle. This is attached to the bone, not directly to the bone, but it is attached to a membrane. I don't want to touch the camera, but I would take you closer. Um, maybe? Scooch over a little bit, camera. We have a fibrous membrane here, which is rather difficult to remove from. the surface of, of the bone itself because it is so fibrous. But this is the membrane that attaches the muscles as well as the tendons to the bone surface itself. So this is the periostrum. So peri meaning um, on the surface of or outside of osteo is bone and you can go however far you want removing said periostrum so in this particular sample these are all the parts that we can see so we have over here just as a review the spongy bone oh there we go we have the spongy bone is this, well, spongy, sort of crunchy textured bone that exists only at the epith um, epiphys of the bone, or epiphys, yes, epiphys of the, the bone, and then we have down the length. On the diaphys, or the shaft of the bone, we have this very hard, compact bone in the medullar cavity or this middle part we have the yellow bone marrow through which runs an artery which is picking up blood that is produced in the red bone marrow that exists in the spongy bone on the outside here we have the periostrum, which is the membrane on the outside of our bone. And that concludes this little video. Um,